That looks good, but some people spent their Easter cleaning up the mess left behind from rain this weekend. In East Rochester, Beaver County, some residents are cleaning up while others say they can't even seem to get up to their homes. Pam Serrano is live with their stories. Pam. Some residents in Beaver County have been dealing with flooding, property destruction, lack of utilities, as well as major loss after last night's storms. This East Rochester couple says a blocked drain pipe is in part to blame for the damage last night's rains caused on the outside of their Oak Street home, which was pushed at its foundation. All over, rushed down, backed up, come up over, come down, come down, and went through the wall there. And the inside of their home was also not spared. This is where it comes to. Fast moving water rushed in, flooding and damaging everything in the basement. What's good? The couple have lived through a lot of storms in this house since 1980 and have never had a flood until now. A brand new furnace. This is a brand new furnace. The water covered the furnace, hot water tank, and also destroyed the washer and dryer, TV, clothes, and tools. Knocked it all over. Leaving debris, muck, and mud behind. And another neighbor on 10th Street says he's having problems with his road washing out every time it rains. Well, I've been dealing with the borough here for the last couple years about a drainage problem. The drain at the top of the road has been plugged for years. Richard Fair says he's fed up, adding he pays taxes, but his road is now so rutted out from rain runoff, it's impassable. He says borough leaders tell him it's not a road. This road's been here for years. That house has been here since the 50s. I can't get anything done. Now, I spoke with the mayor of East Rochester this evening by phone, and he says he plans on bringing these problems up about the drain pipes with the streets department and also addressing these concerns at borough council's meeting on Wednesday evening. We're live tonight. Pam Serrano, KDKA News on CW.